Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Press Start to Play, and I'm your host Ayush, powered by Game of Fiend, and I'm joined today by Manas Joy, Ma- Manas Joy, J Krishna Pillai, and Sushi Rahman. Hello, what's up? And today is a very random episode. Uh, we could not decide what we want to talk about, uh, uh, you know, because we are diversity uh, personified here at Game of Fiend. So we're going to talk about everything. But starting off first, uh, Jay, uh, Manas, uh, you have some comments that, uh, you know, we, we, that is worthy of our attention. Yeah, yeah. Fresh, comments are fresh, fresh hot takes. A comment, to, a comment to is like longer than our script for a show. Uh, Malang, so we just <laughs> read <laughs> through it. <laughs> uh, I think you guys it, are uh, getting a script. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think okay. what we're about Kushi to read, just... jo hum comments bhi hmm. padne wale, it's going to kind of be the, uh, se bol, the flavor of talk. For the next five years, maybe. Mm. Mujhe aisa lag raha, like, <laughs> the way things uh-huh. are looking. Like, I think like in the last five years, the like the ask for diversity was increasing. And now, like in the next five years, the ask for, you know, this diversity does not mean with like, these yeah, you know, yeah. few. You know. Those type ka conversation. It's yeah. I mean, if you like it or not, strap in. Because this is it. So, <laughs> Aaj hai hai safe, to, safe to stay. Right? Uh, so this one. Yeah, uh, I agree. I'll uh, read this one, which Ayush wants to talk about. Why Noise Freak? This was on uh, our recent Ubisoft episode, uh, how Ubisoft is doing so great and why people love them. Well, episode. So, <laughs> the noise freak has an explanation for all the love. Another strategic move from Ubisoft to delay the release of a Sanskrit Shadow Sans Sip Karle Pani. <laughs> to, uh, to delay the release of Sanskrit Shadows to February. Is that February is Black History Month? So, as you know, <laughs> a great darkness, a shadow will fall. <laughs> they wish to release it at the at that time so that any backlash they receive for having a black protagonist can be chalked up to racial hate and people would think twice before bitching about Yasuke on Black History Month, February. Bracket mein likha. If I may give my opinion, a Sanskrit game's quality fell off a cliff after AC Unity. Was a haystack nahi tha. Say so, AC, AC Unity was like I, I agree. AC Unity was the peak of uh, a Sanskrit. Like Bilkul climbing the tha. tower, then jumped off <laughs> a cliff. But no haystack. <laughs> Nicholas Cage face off. <laughs> uh, I like how like the narrative <laughs> sure, today sure. is you kind know, of like uh, ki Unity is like what a what a great what it was such a great game. Man. I when that game came oh, out, it was such a headache, yar. Kya? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the neo Nazis. <laughs> it was a horror game. <laughs> Hitler was no, such no, a no, great. Oh my god. No no face in pieces <laughs> and stuff like that. जैसे लोग बोलते ना हम लोग को मुझे और मानस को बात करते हुए अबाउट वाइल्डलैंड्स लाइक गोस्ट रिकॉन वाइल्डलैंड्स वैसे हम हमको लगता है जब लोग एसी यूनिटी वन बात करते हैं मैंने कहा भाई ये जब गेम आया था तब तो इतना व्हाट इज हैपनिंग जबकि वाइल्डलैंड्स लाइक मैकेनिकली मे बी इट्स लाइक अ मोर आई नो यूनिटी एक्चुअली यार लुकिंग बैक यूनिटी वैसे तो उसका गेम प्ले द कॉम्बैट सिस्टम वाज क्वाइट फन द पार्कौर वाज अमेजिंग द गेम लुक्ड ऑसम आल्सो उसमें इश्यूज बहुत थे लाइक बट व्हेन इट आई रिमेंबर उसका जो वो था ना डीएलसी भी था वाशिंगटन वाशिंगटन नहीं वो केव के अंदर जाते हैं तो चलो अच्छा है मतलब पीपल आर है अब लेकिन ओपिनियन सो स्ट्रॉन्ग की ना लाइक ही सेइंग नो रिसेंट गेम्स कैन इवन होल्ड अ कैंडल टू द पार्कोर मूवमेंट एंड द क्राउड सिमुलेशन सिस्टम इम्प्लीमेंटेड इन दैट गेम चलो At least, I think that no matter how you look at it, like uh, that game is still looked at fondly, and like so, what's going on today? Little nostalgia glass here, ma'am. But Outlaws को नहीं मिलेगा कभी. मैं कह रहा हूँ like oh maybe हो सकता है. Who knows? I think Avatar को तो शायद बिल्कुल नहीं मिलेगा because it's too bad. आज से आज से पांच साल बाद like it, it depends if there is another Avatar game made. Uh, Manas. Oh, okay. Like okay. अगर पांच साल में को there's no Avatar third game made. Then people will be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Avatar came. You saw it. You can play Avatar and not watch the movie. Yeah. Around the la- last movie, something. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. You know, they'll say, "Ha, story. I mean, nothing special. But the gameplay is fun. You know, are they far cry? Just like that. Like, 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 ठीक है पहले ऐसा होता था कि अगर एफपीएस वाला बंदा है ना वो कोई सोल्स वाला बंदा है तो उसे सोल्स मतलब सोल्स तो अभी पर अभी क्या है एवरीबॉडी एवरीवन प्लेस एवरीवन तो देन अभी कोई फायर क्रैक खेलता है तो वो एसएसएन क्रीड भी खेल रहा है या देयर आर नो रेड भी खेल रहा है जॉनर आज के जॉनर भी नहीं है पार्क का आरपी जॉनर भी नहीं है एफपीएस ही है सब आरपीजी गेमर है एफपीएस गेमर एट द सेम टाइम 
हाँ तो फिर एफ पी एस वाले को उस तरह के कंट्रोल नहीं मिलते जैसा लाइक ही एक्सपेक्ट्स इन एन एफ पी एस के आरपीजी वाले को उस तरह का डीप आरपीजी नहीं मिलता विच हैपन्स विद मी अलॉट मतलब मुझे लगता है लाइक हैपन्स अ लॉट विद मी तो एंड देन दिस दिस ओपन वर्ल्ड में वो एक्सप्लोरेशन वाला रेड डेड जैसा एक्सप्लोरेशन नहीं मिलता लाइक विच इज सो ओपन एंडेड टाइप का तो इट या इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट मैन एनीवेज तो वो कंटिन्यू ही कंटिन्यू जे इज एक्चुअली प्लेइंग वाइल्ड टॉकिंग व्हाट इज दिस मल्टीटास्किंग नहीं नहीं लेट हिम एंजॉय ही इज दिस ऑसम AC yeah. Unity was so yeah. ahead of its time that Notre Dame took the devs help to reconstruct it they reconstruct the church after the 2019 fire by referring uh-huh. to the mm-hmm. 3D models of the church in game this i work is not true ki like i mean ubisoft said ki they ready to help in any way but then i look you know like mm. i mean it and also makes sense there are so many other people studying this monument for so many years ki yeah. they have like very detailed blueprints and 3D models like there are architects who uh, yeah. are doing mm-hmm. like You know, like scientific measurements, like a lot of stuff around that. So I, I would. But hey, like, I mean, that is the way people associate with that game. I like that. Like, every one of the narrative, and I think that is also the point why Ubisoft now has to take some time to fix the narrative around Shadows because it does kind mm-hmm. of stick, even if it's not true. You know, like if if people like it now, then they'll uh, believe like good things about it, even if they're not true. And if they don't like it, then they'll easily believe bad things about it, even when they're not true. So, anyways. So also Ubisoft is a little too late in realizing that they they need to be on Switch, which is the hub for the largest user base. I feel their idea is that if we launch on Steam, the sales numbers will shield them from the criticisms. Unless they make fundamental changes to the game, no amount of polish is going to save AC Shadows from negative comments that will be coming their way on launch. Yeah, so I mean, I agree with the last I, part. Uh, I completely agree. But yeah. at this point, do they even care about the negative stuff? I don't know. I think now they don't really deeply. They worried I mean, about it. Uh, yeah, uh-huh. I mean, we still don't know the exact reason behind this. Yeah, I mean, you could say that. Yeah, yeah. Fearing community backlash, but in reality, we really don't know. Maybe so there's something like deep, deeper going around in the management or something like that. That is uh-huh. also yeah, could be true. Who knows? By किसी ने वो भी डाला था ना like the somebody posted right like uh, I think Sush- Sushi oh, I said think about like Sushi, uh, you, you want to add a conversation with an Ubisoft yeah. employee? Oh, sorry, this, this only. I thought there's I only was one... talking about the next comment. Go for it. Oh. Sure. Like there's only one thing that I want to add. Like I, I mean, like even Avowed has been delayed to February, mm-hmm. and I I I think that maybe in some time later, if something comes up, oh there is like uh, LGBT romances over mm-hmm. there or something <laughs> like that, and then believe because of Black History Month or whatever, there's a black character. By what in... Black History Month? Me, there are like 25 games coming out. What triple A? Like 10, 12 games. Yeah. Are they all making? Like, some yeah. black character. Like, like, yeah. Like, <laughs> like uh, I, I feel like a black character now being born in February. So kinda, <laughs> it kind of all just yeah. heads up, but I like personally. Personally, personally, I, I, I don't think that's the reason. I think the, the delay has happened. Because it needed to be delayed. The delays happened because of some games that we missed. Yes, that the time when we were talking about Ubisoft. You remember uh, the Hyperscape game that got cancelled, and then uh, what is that? Uh, why? Uh, I, I I don't even know the 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 game that got cancelled even before it came out. Heartlands. Oh, oh Star Citizen. Yeah, Heartlands. Heartlands got cancelled. Star Citizen. Uh, and uh, X Defined is not doing so well. Uh, Apparently, but then X defined the the uh, the the their Twitter handle said they're doing well and yeah because and I cannot find the match the only I cannot find uh. the match two minutes <laughs> yeah <laughs> apparently even yeah. Suicide Squad is doing well season three is coming out and it's like chada mar dunga yar yeah define doing well like that you know, that's that's context how context the narrative is right now yeah so, so the four runner is also doing well n- not सात साल हो गए update आते हुए Multiple of their games are not doing well. That's what I'm trying to say. I sh- like I'm I'm actually agree with you. <laughs> I'm not saying that they are. Their multiple games are not doing well. Many of their games got cancelled in the middle, and that means a lot of money has already gone without showing something. And for uh, Ubisoft, I feel Assassin's Creed is almost similar to Activision's Call of Duty. Oh yeah, like Definitely. it's that tent pole game. Yeah, 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 they yeah. need to make money out of that. They need that's. That's the bread and butter, which yeah. carries on everything. Just like if FIFA cards carry carry, uh, yeah, yeah. And and there are you know, uh, so those kind of things are are important. FIFA ne bhai, FIFA ne FC twenty yeah. five. FC twenty. Okay, so <laughs> sorry, sorry. again, you should sorry. get sued for saying that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I should refer to the right pronouns, but that's, that's not the case. Uh, uh, I don't think it's because of that. I think it just they just need more time. to fix their messaging to fix any problems that they have with the game just like manas had said in the last episode they thought they did well with outlaws but 
and un- i wouldn't say unfortunate but do you see a narrative forming here most of the developers who are there out there on twitter and i think manas can vouch for that starting from cyberpunk to you know like bethesda yeah. to to other all of those developers are actually praising uh, uh outlaws, star wars yeah. outlaws oh, yeah. oh, quite yeah. effusively yeah. the they have been taking their time with it yeah they've been yeah baldur's gate you know all of these you know studios there they are playing through outlaws and definitely they're enjoying it they're seeing something in it which maybe the larger audience is not seeing and they are enjoying their time with I it i think if you are a game designer na you'll even more clearly be yeah. able to see and, yeah. and maybe na, maybe as like good. a fa- star but wars like fan too as well right so but there maybe there is like design stuff that is good but it's like wrapped around it's yeah like pretty bad game too and uh, <laughs> for ubisoft they've they've always innovated they've always come up with certain new things which have been iterated upon by the industry later on and so i i do think that there is you know the outlaws team is definitely working massive is definitely working on that and they're going to put out more title updates but uh, again uh, maybe we might have also sounded like we're fear mongering but i i don't think ubisoft is over or dead or whatever and a funeral should be carried out uh, i just think that uh, they made some mistakes and they're going to change the thing they're going to work on certain things and they are going to bring it back and if then at that point of time you don't like the product you don't buy it just like uh, the same thing is happening with yote right and and shawn laden talked about it like you vote with your wallet if you don't like a game don't buy it and that's that's what, what i want to say hai, sushir mujhe lagta hai ki like that is not true anymore unless like that voting with the wallet thing na like i think yeah. like because there are so many more revenues for a game to make mm-hmm. revenues for a game to be profitable in some sense mujhe lagta hai right. ki like jaise right to at least make some money back just like yeah. for but for example let's say if suicide Kong. squad came yeah. on uh, came free on amazon prime for a mm-hmm. week mm-hmm. and that was like the best day for that game to get downloaded from right. different sections and like mm-hmm. so people will play at the end of the day will people will play mm-hmm. that game if mm-hmm. it is offered to them on for free right. and there must have been some deal between amazon prime and mm-hmm. wb montreal to uh-huh. make that kind of a deal happen so yeah but that is I, not necessarily true at least for mid level games i i do That's agree it. but like when i say vote with your wallet means like oh like we are going to talk in a little while about a game that manas and jay have played and they they will talk about it and i'm just wanting to say that those kind of games sh- can and should exist the reason why i'm saying that is that just because i don't like something i can vote with my wallet and say i don't like it and i don't want to buy it but that doesn't mean that it shouldn't exist if some people wants to make that game and yeah, some people yeah. want to play that game i definitely feel completely all right with that game existing and people playing that and i if i don't have anything to contribute to it i will not it, but it do- just doesn't have to like implode and go away like oh my god i don't like a particular game and it just needs to be wiped out nuked out of existence i don't believe in that thing like if you don't like this particular new assassin's creed somebody else will come up with the kind of product that you like and you watch that yeah, yeah. right please do go ahead yeah i mean <clears throat> so one like it's a, this is a very simple thing but many people do not i don't know want to agree with, on that first of all games are there's like a commercial aspect to the games right games are meant to be sold right and there's like a target audience for each game but on top of that if you consider games as an art and most of us do anyways and like movies they are creative endeavor right they are first and foremost made by the developers for the developers yeah the commercial aspect is uh, it's like another you know a lot of games are doomed from the start they know it's going to not going to sell well but they developers put their heart and soul into it it's like a passion project and yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay most uh, most of the, i mean pretty much all games are passion project right and there's been uh, a sense of entitlement these days you see on twitter i don't know if it's fake entitlement or real you know if people seriously believe that like each game have to cater towards them specifically like uh, basically an extension of what sushir said like, like if the simple argument that if you don't like like it do not buy it if you do not like a movie you don't see don't if watch don't, it yeah. yeah if you don't like an author don't read his book right if you don't like a comic book t- artist don't read his comics don't read rob lifefield's comic books so <laughs> yeah itni hai na there's so much stuff there yeah, that's that, that's what people are not to. realizing i think ah. yeah, yeah. It's a, like a, like I said, it's a very simple concept right the games are first of all expression of an art expression of the individuals working for the, on the game so it's their product first 
it's being sold to you they have a target audience whether you are the target audience or not only you knows like if you if you like something if you like what a game is shaping up to be please buy it enjoy it if you do not agree with some of the maybe maybe something political maybe something related to the gameplay right maybe you don't like the particular gameplay uh style a uh, uh, long running series is turning towards to don't yeah. buy it a lot, of, a lot of people do not like and to haven't played god of war 2018 because they were devout fans of god of war 3 and all that came before it so yeah it's like yeah it's it sucks but accept it and move on that's like that's like basically how everything works in this world so this simple concept it, i know it can be hard to accept especially if you are die hard fans of a particular franchise or anything like you know uh, in my case fallout yeah right yeah yeah i enjoy it sometimes i have trouble accepting that but still Uh, there are some abhi bhi usse aa raha hai bolte hue like you know uh, <laughs> yeah so 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 yeah uh, i know it wasn't made for me but i, I have come to lo- like it in its own right bad sign of the question uh, but still yeah. Okay, yeah 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 <laughs> it will be okay like, you know, yeah, like by the way i i want to say like this is the most balanced you will ever hear the speaker <laughs> <laughs> i mean this ge- i have been putting maine kabhi jay ko itna balanced baat karte hue nahi i have been putting more uh, some things like the follow up show was kind of good right it's got not kind of good yeah. very, very good it was good so i have been very wholesome since that ask manas he was he turned to me he <laughs> absorbed my persona somehow you know hey amazon amazon is doing really good with tv shows yeah, yeah. like there's a lot of the ring like yeah. abhi maine like there was like the pre finale episode mm. excellent top notch yeah, yeah. double a quality you should watch it matlab aisa is level ka hai bhai yeah but so, uh, so prime is doing well by properties yeah yeah so yeah finish what i was saying even in when you go to steam discussions for a new game that's coming out you see people uh, coming into the discussions and complaining and when you check their profiles they have not interest bought the game and when you ask you so you haven't bought the game you do not know what you're talking about you said yeah i do not know i have no interest in buying the game then why are you here complaining about a product you don't care about like if you're you you're supposed to complain about something that you care about right if you bought something you have yeah experiencing some problems with the game or you do not liking how a specific thing is handled then you should complain and otherwise and, it's like, yeah yeah, yeah and Jay, a, this is not directed manas this is not directed at the industry for any other person <laughs> but i'm just trying to say that there are lots of people who talk about ac unity and stuff like that i just want to say if you can name one character apart from arno <laughs> from that game <laughs> any character i to liked and played it and i still don't remember <laughs> if you please, arno please, please put it down in the comments <laughs> randomly googling a name of a uh, like yeah. historical uh, just person don't check google just just type it down in the comments and i'll believe pa- you paris okay? it was itself was a person in a society <laughs> yeah that's that are you just to what jay said uh, 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 kina like jaise you're not really interested in the game but you're still here to complain or see it fail i think we have i won't name the name but we have an example of that person in ubisoft pale video ke comment we uh, i see i th- i think i know uh, yeah but yeah we have uh, yeah that's very true yeah mai ek ek angle se mai bolunga i think things have kind of changed a little bit these days in a way kina like these complaints have been going on i remember as far as back as maybe gone home or something something us time pe people were saying nahi wo case like forced and all that but us time pe us time pe it genuinely felt like a bunch of artists like trying to create art and like do their thing and i think uh, the recent mo- thoda balance bal- where the situation i really felt ke, like people were trying to create art and like there was no agenda involved is like last of us 2 and unko bhi itni gali mili mujhe lag raha hai wo sara dekh ke thoda na like their there might be cases where you hear something like in a jo sweet baby wala situation hai some of it actually might be true hey, like they're now pushing back they're not yeah. they're not now making it just because by default that is how they wanted to make they're consciously making something and i don't think that's a bad thing it i mean i want to see what i don't want to dictate what you make i want to see what you make and if i enjoy it i'll say it and i'll appreciate like the good parts of it and acha nahi hai to i'll say that and like criticize the bad part of it and hope for like a better game next time matlab right. but but manas like the thing the thing that i want to add like like ubisoft's the past few games that have failed right i i I don't know. This might be like a th- you know thorn kind of a thing, you know, bone of contention between what I say and what people understand out of that. They didn't fail because of DEI. Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah. Rainbow Six I, Extraction I, didn't fail because of DEI. It failed yeah. because it. I mean, I I know it's a blast from the past. Yeah, people, yeah. you know, maybe totally will not be yeah. able to remember the name, 
because it was a fucking bad game like yeah, there was yeah. nothing interesting to do in it Corn and, Corn and, didn't fail and, because and, it was it had walk elements it failed because it was no one wanted it yeah, it, no, yeah. you know i so, just i just googled what dei means i will like there is or like there is a or maybe online you get to hear like the pushback ki na like kisi ne ulta bol diya jaise bhai sweet baby ki baby wale kisi employee ne kuch bol diya then people get like all angry and then Mm-hmm. because ek cheez bol diya to then they add like 10 more assumptions on top of it ki acha isne aise hey. bola to ye aise game mein kara raha hoga acha ye fir baki developers bhi sare mile hain and like that's how the narrative kind of spins out of control usle mujhe lagta hai like maybe like just shut up online about this like there is no main yeah. ye nahi keh raha hu ki you should not like if you're angry you should yeah you don't don't have the right to defend yourself main keh raha hu no matter what you do what's happening is ki wo kya hai there is a term i heard recently it's de escalation by escalation there <laughs> is it's like that you know like the more matlab there, there is no uh, uh, coming to balance with this uh, mm. and, and, and and yeah and and the like in, in just just adding to that even the diversity in the stores like the the in game stores mm-hmm. that is not because of dei <laughs> right i mean you there are gl- glaring problems in in multiple of these games and none of it is dei <laughs> okay. or i i uh, first of uh, all i am not getting into that topic at all i'm just trying to say that the, the complaints that you might have regarding assassin creed shadows there are multiple other bigger problems that are there which yeah. does not actually concern that racial you know angle yeah, or whatever yeah. that is there i i don't think that's the, yeah. you know and and like we are not saying that you shouldn't be vocal about stuff you don't like but we saying at least let the game come out i mean like do you like actually get a feel for what is if it is done right it is done wrong like you you, you 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 it's like everything is like assumed right now right everything is like up in the air and you're like grasping at straws like trying to pull down the game any way you can like agar koi youtuber koi media blogger rehta hai ki thumbnail they say oh my you just read the headline and see thumbnail oh no you decide that oh go it's it's going to be trash who walk to has ruined gaming blah 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 oh he was my favorite character but you didn't even play the first game blah 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 and i i thought like multiple pe- many of the people that you know were watching uh, goblins like aspon gold right like mm. in in a in a fun way like the way that i watch like i'd look at it and i laugh yeah. I, you know i have i have a lot of fun regarding it. it's entertainment some people do take it seriously and oh, yeah. <laughs> that is uh, yeah okay okay yeah yeah but na even hum ye sab cheeze keh rahe na main keh raha hu like they'll have like 10 different unko lag nahi this this is not based on baseless stuff hey ye evidence hai aisa hai ubisoft ke developer talk to a mm-hmm. youtuber in that video and he <laughs> said ki sure. he said ki uh, uh, one on one side the company doesn't care about the people kisi ki nahi sunte on the other side the hr is like taking all these chote chote complaints also mai kal like then what is real matlab asli mein kya hua like just like all kinds of jo wish fulfillment wale stories वन के आ रहे वैसे ना लिखे आई एम श्योर देर आर प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज ऑफ यू सी दम इन द गेम्स वट एफ लाइक देर इज नो मुझे लग रहा है वॉट एवर आई से वॉट एवर एवरी वन सेज देर लाइक सम इरीटेटिंग रिव्यू टू इट विच इज लाइक सो वेल थॉट ऑफ जो एक चीज आई थिंक बोला ना जय को मैं कह रहा था लाइक बिफोर वी स्टार्टेड कि ना लाइक ऑल ऑफ अ सडन यू हैव स्टार्टेड हियरिंग सो मेनी ओपिनियंस एंड थॉट्स फ्रॉम पीपल जिन जिनसे यू वुड नेवर हियर अबाउट गेम्स एट ऑल you know yeah. kabhi you games ki jyada baat nahi karte the kuch depth mein baat nahi karte all of us and like they're experts on this yeah yeah that's why i say everyone's like every game character is everyone's favorite character right now he yeah. was my favorite character they ruined him yes. oh no no <laughs> uh, and and i'm i'm not talking about even like real uh, like uh, racial uh, issues like there are people angry because there are fantasy races whose horns have been got wrong <laughs> so i mean you you can i i do understand the passion behind this it's like saying oh you know uh, you know dead claw has an extra finger and i have a problem <laughs> with that i mean that that's how yeah. it settles to dragon age veilgard yeah okay like yeah I mean, it looks yeah. a little smoother but yep. yeah it's i mean maybe there's like a texturing option who knows but like a complexion option and even the there isn't i mean come on <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> look away <please>. <laughs> <Yeah>. don't make <laughs> that character if you don't want don't don't oh, yeah. don't be a konari or whatever yeah. <laughs> probably i mean you can probably make your client as ugly as you want right judging <laughs> <laughs> oh, like there's can be an option at least someone will come up with some you know models will come up with. like there's always always be a solution to all these problems and these are even not the tip of the iceberg the real problems are not even like the problems that real problems are being 
drenched i mean drowned or you know kept hidden while we talk about this stuff uh, that are superficial yeah. Yeah. ayush i'll throw it back to you you I, i think you want to address the next comment also padna yeah yeah i think like uh, we have beaten this funky dry thoda thoda acha next comment take. is but like, yeah let's move on to the next comment i don't have any i'll read through it jaldi se has a lot of interesting ideas mm. uh, not sure if they're worth exploring ashish valya ka comment hai the passion has changed oh yes yes pyar pyar nahi raha mm-hmm. it's no longer about enhancing the gameplay experience and telling unforgettable stories it's about not offending everyone and making them pay more for enjoying a game they've already bought the focus is more on dei and microtransactions than anything the fact that a single player mm. game like far cry 6 has tens of thousands of rupees worth of content packs instead of those items being available to unlock in the game showcases ubisoft's mentality and then they wonder why people don't care why games like ex defined are rumored to be on the verge of dying within months of their release and why the quadruple a pirate game has 450 ubisoft employees keeping it alive on steam <laughs> <laughs> people at ubisoft don't <laughs> understand that players buy a game to sit back and immerse themselves in a, in another world stop breaking the emotion by showing menus for the monetary items and real life politics in the game stop hiring people based on their beliefs over their talents uh, mm. yes i don't know that does it's ubisoft it. have a history of that like it, what what is being alluded to over here like has uh-huh. ubisoft hired people based on like with the belief system or something like that i, I think really uh, talented Ashish people respond to that to I, that comment I, 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 i'm comment. not saying it in I, a derogatory manner I, I, i think really yeah. talented people work there i mean oh, yeah. i mean i think he has not played assassin's creed 1 you remember the intro of the game the when you the there's a one baat nahi kar raha yeah, one, there was a to, yeah, i mean yeah <laughs> <laughs> there's a disclaimer right this is yeah, a work of fiction made by people yeah. from all religions team of multicultural yeah, yeah yeah, yeah. That, that that's what mm-hmm. right yeah and games have always been political man what are you talking about politics have you i mean you're more sensitive to because more people are talking about it if all this random thumbnails and bagera didn't pop up people would be discussing it not discussing it people would be discussing it but not at this rate like everything is like a clickbait everything is a sensation everyone wants internet cloud right and maybe yeah you can make the argument yeah people would be talking about as a script black flag uh, sorry uh, shadows issues even if it wasn't covered in such a wide regard but still some of them lesser stuff right some of the you know like sushi talk about the kunari's horns or whatever it's like it's being talked about a lot more because you know that's how media works they need clicks they need content they need ra- they need to rage bait you <laughs> into discussing <laughs> these things right and and yeah. and i do uh, do agree to a little bit regarding the first part that once you s- you start spreading your content thin enough so that you get a larger audience you are essentially making a product and not a like a like a game like a creative piece of you know art and once you start diluting that and try to cater to a large number of audience then definitely you know some part of that interesting thing is lost but you know i i don't think you know uh, ubisoft in the past has shied away from trying but you know it's a 20000 you know employee worth company and it, it needs to keep its uh, you know bread and butter it needs to make money and uh, i don't agree with the fact that they put in micro transactions like that i don't think there should be micro micro transactions in single play games i i personally that's yeah. my feeling but if it has it and i i don't have to like pay for it in order to complete the game it doesn't matter to me i don't care so that, that that's that for me but the politics is always a part like i think yeah. games like skyrim or something released today like people will be thinking what oh, is this talking about the american civil war <laughs> no <laughs> it isn't but it's political i mean you know anything you know jay, jay is right about that i you know and and i think manas you even had a comment in in the in the in the whatsapp uh, chat that we were talking about that uh, one of the most political and uh, racially charged and you know is is this coalition right oh, yeah. and yeah. you would not yeah. hear people talk about it because we ke bare mein baat nahi karte wait wo kaun utta padega people don't understand it right? people only see the superficial yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. disco elysium mein to like you have to make an intellectual point to understand what thing said there before you yeah. can counter counter some yeah. of the arguments yeah. like things said it's really clever about. writing right yeah. it's like huh. trying to seal all the loopholes yeah yeah and but so, so i will so to, uh, again and this disco elysium is like, like a very good example of what a smaller studio can do 
विद और लाइक दिस दिस ऑफ दिसन वर्सेज स्टूडियो ठीक है जो जैसे लाइक इफ फर्स इंडी गेम कम्स आउट टूमोरो एंड इट्स नॉट it does not have this inclusion it does not have the diversity thing it has the it has a way of saying ki that i did not have the resources to do this kind of implementation to do this kind of research to put that kind of effort into this game which is what mb is in size and can we play uh, you know in a pixel style <coughs> stuff but these complaints are asked or these requests are made from UB, ubisoft and from bioware and from ea which are much larger and have the resources to try to get and they want to they want to cater to those people as well right so it's it's like it's both ways they want to reach out to as many people as they can of different uh, of different uh, shape size uh, ethnicity beliefs whatever that may be right so and to uh, ashish's point i think like there is some sense some truth to it but it's also the market that has changed people are making there are people who are asking for it i mean it doesn't exist just because the company decided to do it there is an ask outside uh, in the ecosystem which is asking it to be more diverse which is which is asking it to be more inclusive and they have to respond to it from just from not just from like the financial point of view but also from the zeitgeist point of view where you cannot exist as a multinational company uh, or a multi uh, corporation when you where yeah. you're not doing this so there is mujhe lagta hai like there is that wo, no. uh, part there yeah. which, which i think like is uh, i mean interesting I, i just one last point to add to that like if, if you if you do see like how the western uh, developers and how the international developers of other countries take for example nintendo nintendo makes a their their, their marquee game is a game called mario right and mario is an italian and japanese people are making a game about italian plumbers and then you know you have square enix you know which is you know a completely japanese company but then there are some black characters in them and I, i don't think it was at that point of time because of dei or anything else right and it, yeah, that, that might not be the, that there might not be any story element uh, major story element to that even but those characters were there right? and uh, games like which are being made in China, they are featuring right now i think i should be talking about a little while later who can get you know it's an animal and every other thing which developers might be keen on in you know going that area so that uh, human politics don't come in but western audience the the you know us audience is a multicultural place they people from all over the world actually went over there settled and that is why people you know there you know the people who are coming up as developers and everything they are from different cultures different religions and stuff and they are making those kind of stuff mm-hmm. like that so telling them that they have to make something quintessentially american is actually yeah. what they are doing they are yeah. actually yeah. making something american yeah. which is what they are right now you know they they are not making a russian game like metro yeah. they are not making a polish game like witcher it's it's a different thing. like even i think you know witcher cdpr had to juggle with the fact that oh why are there no black people in your game right there was a, there was a mm-hmm. in the war controversy regarding that why are there no black people in witcher because it's an eastern european game and that's why and I that's that why there are black people yeah. in cyberpunk right yeah and like in witcher the dlc <laughs> they had people from zerkenia yeah like dark complexion people right so and like Uh, american yeah. people are making american yeah. games actually i mean yeah, you yeah, are yeah. thinking that and, like, it's dei but it's not yeah, yeah. and like even if you think about that if it, like people blame western studios for like catering to the minorities and stuff like that you know and if you think about it all stu- studios do like think back like 20 years or uh, 25 years japanese people were very obsessed with american culture but they, they did not exactly know what american culture was exactly like think early siren hills yeah. and so what happens was every ge- uh, japanese game in which there was an american i mean not every but still you get what i'm saying he was like obsessed with baseball <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know that trope uh, yeah in movies uh, too so like that was actually the stereotype right yeah and like as years went on we see that right now in games like yakuza and stuff like that uh, yakuza and whatever persona maybe i don't know if person has american characters in yakuza especially uh, american characters are much more in depth right they are layered characters when you is they are like not only sp- not like audi- they are not oddities anymore right they are not just obsessed with baseball <laughs> <laughs> those low so like in theory the inclusion the developers aim for is actually for the the the, the rectify the stereotypes of the past to make cultural representation actually meaningful and true to how actually these cultures work 
so yeah the, so whether that works or not is a different thing because you know something's backfire uh, as you as we see with uh, like today's gaming audience but people see like nowadays games are full of dei the theoretical aspect of having these things is like having proper cultural representation that's an important otherwise we'd be uh, we'd get a game but there's an indian character and he's like constantly shitting on the streets how would you feel like that i mean gay studios are slowly moving away from that kind of one sided very if they don't know about a country or a particular uh, region or culture and they are having a character from that culture they actually consult a different company mm-hmm. and that's why they sweet baby in can whatever come coming from so like ther- theoretically that's the function of this consultancy firms to actually uh, let the developers know or like uh, teach them about the cultural nuances or what they're doing is whether offensive or not yeah so yeah so like people say that this is bad for business theoretically it's not but whether it's not it actually works that's up to you that's totally depends on your world view and yeah your experiences with these games so yeah i just feel like i had to get that out of my chest because of the <laughs> earlier discussion we had in another group man yeah like people do not understand the need for like the theoretical need is this proper culture representation And that might be a bad example but there is a uh, need yeah, for yeah, this yeah yeah and if you do not think that is important <laughs> then i don't know what to tell you like put your culture in that spot like imagine if a game comes out it's your culture it represented in a wrong way yeah. and it was like early mo- you know uh, right. what yeah you know what like the perception indians get some of it is Snake warranted but and all that like yeah oh yeah indiana jones yeah. uh, temple of doom <laughs> oh yeah that's a prime example for that so yeah that's what i had to say so like uh, games are being ruined by dei or whatever inclusion whatever yeah theoretically these things are supposed to be to to benefit everyone so yeah, yeah. and they organically do come up in, in oh, multiple yeah. studios where they want to oh, yeah, yeah. you know tell different kinds of stories from different yeah, angles yeah, yeah. where they want to introduce like points of friction where a person is a foreigner in a different place yeah. like i think i think at at the onset of whatever story the shadows might be the inclusion of this character yasuke might be because they wanted a foreigner's perspective into whatever was going on like what would a foreigner see in japan like what yeah. would a foreigner's perspective be and maybe that started from that and then it went down in but whatever but yeah, yeah, i mean yeah. just because they, they they did not include a black cat because Yeah, I mean, because they wanted someone. They, they I don't think that's the case. Yeah, I mean that's that's kind of like a weird, lame as argument, right? <laughs> they would have set the oh. game in you uh, know yeah. Louisiana for that if they wanted. Oh, yeah, man. You know, in in the deep south, so but I yeah, I don't yeah. think that's the case. Yeah. And also, I mean, I feel like, like the way we're talking about, you know, like some of it is good or some of it is uh, bad. Yeah, this is wrong. This is right. In the way. And uh, Jay also like said, nah, like this is important. It's a part of it. And uh, so she just said, nah, it's like coming naturally. मुझे लग रहा है इवन इफ इट इज लाइक नॉट कमिंग नेचुरली इफ देर इज एन एजेंडा इफ देट इज स्टिल एन आर्टिस्ट वर्क नो लाइक आई मीन आर्ट कैन बी जस्ट ऑन लाइक इफ इट्स गुड और नॉट लाइक इट्स नाउ बीइंग जस्ट ऑन वेर इट्स लाइक राइट और रॉन्ग वाले वे व्हिच इज लाइक मैं क्रूअलिटी या ऐसे कुछ उसको नहीं दैट्स लाइक अ डिफरेंट थिंग बट आई इन जनरल लाइक जैसे आई वाज आई हैव एन एग्जांपल ऑफ दिस रीसेंट गेम डस्ट बॉन जो आया था यू मस्ट हैव सीन क्लिप्स ऑन लाइक इट डजंट कम अक्रॉस वेरी नाइसली या बट आई एक्चुअली ट्राइड टू प्ले इट क्योंकि and i had played the demo i remember a few ma- a month or so ago when we had done a podcast when us ka jab demo khela tha i told ayush this is like a, a su- super woke game uh, khelte and khelte i was like a little put off but then i thought it is like not for me kyunki if you look at those characters in the game na to you know ki hai it's not every person that you know in your life and it's maybe it's not you but this is somebody matlab na kisi ne apne aap ko present karne ke liye banaya hai like hey it might be cringy for me a lot of kids or a lot of youngsters a lot of you guys Uh, in the comments or like uh, not the comments like the the discussions online twitter uh, reddit and all like yeah a lot of you guys do make me feel cringy but like but you exist right and uh, you want to feel represented so uh, even dust bond khelte time mujhe aisa laga ki yeah it's not like uh, for me and it is like a very woes mein na waise dialogue shuru se hi hai gaslight and cancel and all that shit like um, you me kaam se matlab you know it, it it really it, it is very cringy but then the way the game it's like a life is strange type ka game na so when you having a conversation so uh, 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 like when you having a conversation uh, uh, life is strange me to you talk like if there are like three characters in front of you so you get like a bunch of dialogue options right isme what you do is you like you freely move the camera and you can select which guy you or which person you want to talk to and you can preview ki na acha mere paas kya options hai baat karne ke liye but us pure time na the conversation is naturally going on 
तो यू ऑल्सो हैव अ लिमिटेड टाइम वेयर उसके बाद मे बी दी सम ऑफ द ऑप्शन आर लाइक नो लॉन्गर अवेलेबल और न्यू ऑप्शन आर लाइक देन एडेड लाइक इट्स लाइक अ काइंड ऑफ कूल वे टू डू लाइक अ लाइफ इज चेंज काइंड गेम मुझे लगा आई अग्री विद लाइक ऑल द क्रेन स्टफ एंड लाइक मे बी इज नॉट फू यू वाला बट देर इज लाइक सम इंटरेस्टिंग डिजाइन एलिमेंट्स ऑल्सो इन यर विच लाइक इसने सोच के तो बनाया है एंड फिर मुझे लगा लाइक ओके यू कैन आई कैन इवन से इज अ लिटिल क्रिंजी बट देन यू यू गो एंड पिक आउट लाइक ईच वन ऑफ दो कैरेक्टर्स एंड उनके पर्सनैलिटीज एंड अ लॉट ऑफ देर पर्सनैलिटीज आर ऑन डिस्प्ले लाइक वो जैसे लाइक दैस अ वुमन हु इज लाइक वॉकिंग फॉर अ मैनली वाले वे में है ना दैस अ पर्सन विद वो क्या बोलते हैं उसे जो विटी लागो विटी लिगो हाँ स्पॉट्स रहते हैं इज इन योर फेस देर डूइंग इट डिलीवरेटली बट मैं कह रहा हूँ लाइक इट्स नॉट फॉर यू इट्स नॉट फॉर मी देन लाइक and maybe there's a small audience maybe the game doesn't find success but and theek hai fair enough feedback maybe that's feedback for them but they wanted to make something that re- represents that exactly i feel and it it is what it yeah, is yeah i mean i mean if if your way of relaxing is not lo fi kind words i mean you guys know that know that game right yeah, if, yeah. if if that's that's not for you then yeah. go crush some so, skulls in doom oh, like i mean yeah. whichever whichever floats your boat man i mean it, yeah, it I mean, doesn't it, need it, to pander to you it has 175 positive reviews on steam and 85 in mixed reviews so like 175 people liked it yeah like, yeah that means like it should like you know they found something to connect with them so it's like it's made for them they are the target audience yeah. that's why marketing exists to decide whether you want to try out a game whether you think, buy it then to decide whether it's for you or not i wish go for a it. better the fear, fear is also related ki like if this kind of like right mm. now we are saying like there is a lot of stuff for you to do don't do this or like don't go into this uh because it's not for you but at a point may come when there is nothing for you you know because of this being produced so i think there is also the fear in that like uh i think these games are if every uh, game is yeah. like this this made then what what would what would be left like but, right but right but then i wish we, we are in a capitalistic yeah. society right yeah, yeah, yeah. you know a, a product like this a commercial product like this will always cater to the masses and if if everything is like that maybe the masses yeah. want and, that right I, and, and then you are a minority yeah. and the anybody doesn't need to cater yeah. to you and especially my, my point is that these games are made out of a need to break the that stereotype like that uh, what do you call that uh, that dominating what you call patriarchal hetero patriarchal cis white mm-hmm. yeah, whatever you want to call it yeah happening. i mean yeah. i mean this is a change right i mean 20 years ago we did not have games <laughs> like this so whether this is good or bad this is like a counter culture this is a direct response to the decades of one sided whatever you know uh, i don't think and and yeah. the time that 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 jay is talking about there were 100 games mm. and yeah. and and it was like that and today there are 1000 games Yeah, like I mean, I'm just just I mean, putting out a number. Uh, yeah, I'm I just, mean, it's... just go ahead and find your thing. Like that's yeah, that's I'm, what I'm saying. Trying, the, trying to say. The context, the the need, the games arise because of this. As a counter point to those games, that's why these like they exist. Uh, but I don't think we'll. Yeah, who know? Who knows? Maybe we will. I I actually read a story for my research today where this guy is a drunk guy, drunk old army man, ex army man. He was saying that, yeah, uh, the situation of homosexuals in our country is very problematic. But who knows? monday maybe they will become the major- majority and heterosexual will become the minority and heteros will have to lick their boots to get a job <laughs> so it's like it's like that kind of argument like i don't think that's going to happen yeah i don't know <laughs> yeah that that's is. very i was that's almost very uh, with yeah. you in the first part <laughs> <laughs> i mean yeah that, that that's what the story says and it was written in 2008 okay it's like 16 years now <laughs> and yeah so so you know that kind of hypothetical uh, who knows maybe i think there will always be choice Yeah. Right. There will always be. You will always have a choice to what to buy. There will always be a space for you, at least in games. Yeah. Right. मुझे एक और चीज़ I wanted to. Uh, Ayush, you want to add anything? No, no. I am. I'm good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I I want to add ये एक एक aspect मैंने ये भी देखा है जैसे अभी जैसे we're saying like yeah, yeah games can be whatever they want to be. But then like on the other side मैंने एक चीज़ देखा like and I I'm complaining about this because I hate कि like why give the stupidity any more fuel. Can I? You you know that uh, 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 person Dell Walker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's a yeah. veteran in the industry, like Rockstar, right. uh, Rocksteady, a, a bunch of places, <coughs> like uh, big places he's worked at. So uh, recently, what was Saber Interactive's CEO? Ka CEO commented on some video talking about, "Hey, like, yeah, we just uh, wanted to make a game." Video. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was the Asmund Gold video. Okay. Like, uh, yeah. yeah, I, I yeah, wanted yeah. to. Like, yeah, we wanted to make a game like it was in back in the days, and I'm glad you're enjoying it. That that was our goal, like, free of like. अभी के टाइम में गेम्स लाइक गेट ओवरली कॉम्प्लिकेटेड या ऐसे समथिंग लाइक दैट 
देन डेल वॉकर जो ट्विटर पे आई डोंट नो वाई एंड ही इज लाइक अ मोर ऑफ अ लेफ्ट लीनिंग गाय थोड़ा ट्विटर एक्टिविज्म भी करता है वो तो विच इज फेयर इनफ गुड फॉर हिम तो देन ही कैन स्टार्ट आसिंग क्वेश्चन के लाइक वॉज इट रियली हिम लाइक ट्विटर पर ऐसे ना कि ये एक्चुअल में सेबर का सी होता वी वॉन्ट देन टैगिंग सेबर एंड ऑल दैट मैं कह लाइक वॉट्स अ पॉइंट लाइक वॉट यू ट्राइंग रिच हंडिंग टाइप थोड़ा टाइप क्यों मतलब लाइक I mean, on the other hand, he is also saying that no, no one like I. I just want to make know if it's really him. Uh, I don't care if he said anything. But then, why do you care? I mean, because maybe maybe it's a guy who actually was intent intent to care. But maybe it's a guy who's just excited about the game he made, which is such a massive success. People are loving it. Must have taken a hell of a uh, long time to make, and he is happy to just see where he's coming from. Yeah. Uh, positivity he is loving it like i mean he must have gone th- i mean as a developer del walker would understand uh, ki na like kuch hua hoga like i am trying to give the saver guy the benefit of the doubt agar ye aisa banda hai and del walker then goes around doing this and asking these questions so wouldn't like then your even if he is not like one of the the anti woke idiots now you're now driving all the anti woke idiots yeah you're brigandic to, against yeah, him right yeah and so all the anti woke idiots will now go and uh, uske around लैच ऑन हो जाएंगे एंड इवन इफ लाइक नॉट दैट काइंड ऑफ काइंड ऑफ स्टक विद इट लाइक वाई लाइक मैं कह रहा हूँ यार लाइक वॉट आर यू डूइंग मतलब ये देख के मैं यार एंड मैं इसका ना लाइक मुझे लगता है ट्विटर पर स्पेशली देर इज लाइक अ वेरी गुड अवेयरनेस ऑफ लाइक पीपल विल थोड़ा गेट ऑन इट अ लिटल बिट टू मच बिकॉज आई कम्पेयर कि ना देर इज अ पेज कॉल एटी लेवल वेबसाइट का नाम सुना है डूइंग क्वाइट वेल तो देर काइंड ऑफ नोन टू बी अ लिटल वोक वाला बोना एंड बोल भी देते हैं कुछ तो ट्विटर पे काइंड ऑफ हेटेड तो उनका एंगेजमेंट इज लाइक वेरी लो एंड लाइक काफी नेगेटिव डिसलाइक सब कुछ होगा फेसबुक पे तो देर मैसेव हिट क्योंकि वहां पे लाइक बातें है ना उनके बातें हो रही है बट इज नॉट लाइक दी एंटी वोक वोक फाइटिंग इज लाइक नॉट द सेंटर फीस ऑन फेसबुक ना लाइक काफी कुछ भी क्लिक वेट चल जाता है तो लाइक अ बिग हेट तो मुझे लगता है यू हैड लाइक वॉट्स हैपनिंग राइट नाउ एंड एक बार सोचो कि एक तो आई एनी वेज फील बाई डिफॉल्ट डेल वॉकर के जो था लाइक अ लेटी मूव टू डू बट देन ऑल्सो लाइक इवन इफ यू डूइंग इट फ्रॉम सम राइचियस अंदर से वो तो एक बार सोच की होगा क्या लाइक लाइक वॉट यू अचीविंग आउट ऑफ इट एंड एंड दिस इज दिस इज दिस इज माई पॉइंट लाइक आई एंड आई थिंक मेनी ऑफ यू लाइक स्पेस फॉर इन टू नॉट बिकॉज इट डिड नॉट हैव पॉलिटिक्स आई मीन बिकॉज इट वॉज अ गुड गेम मतलब ऐसा नहीं कि पॉलिटिक्स नहीं है बोल के मेरे मुझे अच्छा लगा आई लाइक इट एनी वेज एंड इट्स नॉट दैट आई like liked uh, last of us part 2 because it had politics or whichever way you want to think i'm just trying to say that both are really good games and if somebody wants to make a political game let them make it and somebody wants to make a a political game let's let them make it okay, yeah. it depends on the quality yeah, of the game I mean, at the end of yeah, the day yeah right? these will always become be secondary aspects right first of all you're always in for the gameplay or the story yeah. like if a ga- if you ever game draws you in you're like you kind of create a leeway for the game like what well, okay it is sporting but yeah i don't care i don't mind it it doesn't affect me much so i'll just play it for the story gameplay i'm sure people like grums and people like him <laughs> they they don't play and enjoy man. games man i mean they have tried like and they beetle juice three times <laughs> <laughs> and they put on this yeah persona to come online or whatever and yeah. like they can't publicly admit that they play these games right so this you know they build up this aura of you know not uh, not giving a shit whatever but secretly i think they do play <laughs> like i want to play grams uh, ka game yaar it is rogue le van saal mein na kuch nahi aane yeah are ayush you have any ayush ekdam chup baitha hai or you want to add yeah, anything yeah, or should yeah. i move on to the next topic nahi nahi i think uh, all of you made some a lot of good points and i think like my opinion on this is like very limited because my knowledge on this is very limited you nahi, know like mujhe lagta hai ayush has the wildest stuff to say like isliye main try kar raha tha bolya ayush you also have like uh, you know outside the perspective or something like that you know common man's perspective you get that common man common man to nahi hai but yeah theek uh, <laughs> 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 hai theek hai canada common what, man i wanted to say one thing though like and this is like completely off topic and i just wanted to bring this up that today 5 years ago today exact same day प्रेस स्टार्ट टू प्ले पे मानस पहली बार आए एज अ गेस्ट सेप्टेम्बर फाइव इयर्स अगो मानस के एम ऑन शो फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम एज लाइक दैट टाइम इट वाज लाइक दिस वाज लाइक द थर्ड और फोर्थ एपिसोड एंड मानस को आई इनवाइटेड हिम एज अ गेस्ट राइट एंड ही स्टेड ऑन टिल सिंस देन तो मतलब लाइक ही इज नेवर मूव्ड आउट फ्रॉम प्रेस स्टार्ट टू प्ले तो इट्स बिन फाइव इयर्स फॉर मानस फॉर द पॉडकास्ट एंड फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस So it's been it's been a journey. Oh shit! Yeah. I remember. Yeah, I think Jay was on the first episode. 
and yeah, Jay's hair too. Yeah. 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 Uh, so it just came up in my Sushil, memories for some reason. So one year, two years later. Yeah. One or two years later. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I I know. Uh, but like around, see, this is this kind of discourse is like, it's very difficult to say because. there are points to be made about around everything and yeah. like my uh, thinking is like i am i tend to think like a devil's advocate where if somebody is making a point i will try to you know counterpoint it just that's just my nature that doesn't necessarily means that i agree some lots of time i agree with the people that you know what they're saying like essentially in essence i agree with what sunny is saying or with what ashish is saying in the comment but i am just trying to you know put myself my best foot forward as an argument so for asking people to think of what could be like or, or the benefit of the doubt in that sense right this there is de- like whatever you guys said there is a need for both of that there is a need for more diversity in games there is a place for and most of this diversity just like sushil said is organic like that there are more diverse people making a video game and they will bring in their own personalities it is not possible for them not to you know yeah. Yeah. so it's it's not possible for them not to so and is and by that point i think then we are just talking about the degree you know of how what kind of degree we are comfortable with or not comfortable with right and the second part about you know like the i still i still have to see a video game that's a success because of its diversity or it's a failure because of its diversity i mean those those are talking yeah. points and those are nice to see before or to, before or after uh but uh, a game at least today right now everything like we haven't had like uh, an oj simpson movement in gaming yeah. as of yet where you know uh, certain aspects which should not pertain uh, or to that game take it to different heights or not take it to different heights so it's still it's still a good game makes a good game and yeah. a bad game makes a bad game which i think is nice and until we reach that point um or something like that happens like a watershed women game and i think it's okay for us to you know relax a bit and let enjoy the games more yeah 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 i i wish i agree with like your perspective ki la jaise ho raha hai like ho ke aane do and like or it and also like play the games that you are kind of complaining about like dustborn wagera i is uh, mujhe lagta hai dustborn ka maybe the complaint that you could was, like i would like to see like a gay person or a person of color or s- somebody who that game is for like come out and give some criticism of like how the commentary on uh, those marginalized people like how that is done in the game how they presented uh, like maybe yeah. somebody can come out and say dude like you did such a horrible job with the writing and all ki now we we are be- being made a joke of like hey, maybe somebody could actually but unse so, like i want to hear from them like not these rant maine bhi to i played the demo no like i knew what that game was to mujhe twitter ke clip ki zarurat nahi thi maine to koi clip nahi banaya like making fun of it like i yeah i knew ki acha mere liye hai nahi seems okay not for me a little weird uh, and i told you guys hey, also, it was without making fun of it like aage badhte hain chalo similar example i would like to give like jaise ek wo life was strange ka ek uh, spin off nahi tha where there was like this yeah, uh, you colors. go to a you got you uh, are true colors true colors so like the super power of that character was empathy yeah, like she used yeah. to f- she could feel the emotions of the people and that does not resonate with me at all like mujhe lagta hai main kya karunga is like yeah. what am i supposed I to do with this power ha so like and then this move on matlab i moved on yeah. because there are so many other games but to what sushi is point like if space marine 3 came out and it had these kind of you know the super power of this space marine is empathy I will be pissed off a little bit. <laughs> that's just what oh I'm God. saying. Yeah, I, I will be pissed off a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I so think that's a reasonable like, complaint. Yeah, if you're, yeah. Yeah, you know, if something you have loved for so long suddenly transforms into radically something else. Yeah, I think yeah. then you, you still at least you can complain. Oh no, I will not be buying this. this they completely ruined the franchise for whatever. But the, so that, that is the thing. I think that is the real fear. Jay. Like the key, just yeah. 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 there's something that you love so much. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Key, it gets transformed. Nah, it's cheese me. Like if tomorrow, if like God of War. becomes like you know yeah. he's going through trauma and is going through therapy which is which in case of like again i think ragnarok handled it very well his ther- like for kratos the therapy was mm. fighting like the discipline mm. that gave him clarity of thought if you look like that if you think of like that you know like when i saw that i thought that this was such a you know macho thing of like or like just like a good way of handling things where no you don't have to give up your identity as a soldier or as a you know strong person to 
think clearly or to think mm-hmm. uh, passionately about or think up compassionately about decisions it was it was an example into that but i it doesn't matter you know if you don't think that right but if tomorrow some i see you know kratos sitting on a couch and talking about what he did wrong and he, you know it might not resonate with me and i will be angry i would be angry and the, mm-hmm. that i think is justified so i see that's what i'm trying to say is like yeah. more like abhi like i see the both sides of this argument and sometimes i agree with you know the person making mm-hmm. it sometimes i don't so yeah i think i think that kind of fear will always exist no matter what, or, or every media right it's always some fear or another right if it's not like yeah. box something it's something else games being transformed into loot box filled whatever or something like that i think like you know we do not know for certain what will happen but that <laughs> thing is always i think it's hard to ignore but at the same time you have to live with it it's kind of like you know it's like a what if scenario maybe you you just have to keep moving and see what, what comes next oh, yeah. right yeah well, what comes next right you can't get, no one can say like if you cannot live in constant fear or anything and you won't be able to enjoy anything at that rate right who knows maybe in 50 years games will cease to exist entirely who knows man <laughs> nuclear fallout you mm-hmm. can read a uh, few more comments but uh, uh, but before I have that to go, guys. Yeah. okay yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have to go uh, you guys carry on yeah. have a good time okay. uh, this is f- uh, this is essentially the fifth five year anniversary of press start yeah, to play so oh you know man. give yourself a clap thank you and uh, for all the for all the three people who have been watching our videos on loop thank you <laughs> uh, yeah. please keep doing that yeah. and you know dropping dropping long ass comments uh, so we can make videos on them yeah. but until then uh, these guys are going to carry, carry on and see you later bye yeah. yeah yeah i come from a university where there are lots of people from different gender sexuality all sorts of things right i share hostel not rooms but hostel with a lot of them so to me seeing these kinds in games is like pretty normal right these are the this is the life i i live daily i see these uh, people from all, all walks of life daily so it doesn't matter but to people who are not you know who are like you know uh, from a homogenic society they feel they, it might feel forced to them yeah so they're like it's forced so to me that does not mean anything what is forced mm-hmm. maybe there are some rare exception there are cases you can certainly say that this thing will see maybe some dialogue came up way out of nowhere yeah yeah but i think overall that forced <laughs> argument doesn't hold up anywhere as close as people think it does and 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 and, and talking about putting politics out of games like i mm. i mean it's always been a part of games yeah, yeah. it has always <laughs> been a part of it. any kind of art you know yeah, politics right. has been a yeah. you know I mean can you imagine like De- uh, I mean when you talk about politics Deus Ex is the first game that comes to mind like Deus Ex was such a highly political game and uh, it's only now that we gone back to retrospectively inspect it that people uh, yeah I think people kept it as a political game back then but uh, these times of discourses were not yeah entirely common back then but now people look at it as a very political game and we look, go back and look at a lot of games from that time yeah there are lots of political games there are hardly uh, old world apes or see those games were highly political highly uh, critical of the capitalist yeah. crunch culture and everything and us time pe when and it started you, there were also a lot of homogenized games because maybe the people like yep. uh, were homogenous like eventually like right. other yeah, people I mean, got yeah. opportunity yeah, like yeah art and products are made to suit to the needs of the times right people say that masculinity is dying right the old school macho you know masculinity in this classic sense the macho yeah. guy mamuti yeah. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Mamuti, Mohalla, people who beat uh, Women. other people senseless every time they talk back to, oh, you know, okay. every time other they people yeah, also. <laughs> <laughs> talk back to them. Because like people don't really realize that that kind of gender or roles are not exactly needed. Not exactly, uh, in a sense, I mean, in a sense that you do not go around beating people. Yeah. I mean, in... in, 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 in in that age maybe arthur morgan was like a simp like will be uh, considered a simp yeah, because I mean, <laughs> in the in post uh, independence india like really uh, like if just a few years after independence there were a culture around forming gangs right mm-hmm. in dehati areas both yeah. are uh, lunt lunt kata not that lunt that lunt lantai ladai ke lantai or they were like people these kids all they did was beat up each other form yeah. gangs beat up each other that was a big culture that was seen Latais, as Latais. Yeah, yeah yeah Latais, yeah that was seen as something essential to the time you, if you were not doing that you were not considered a man yeah. like makeup was highly criticized at the time brotherhood sacrifice dying for a country and fighting, uh, 
fighting random people these were all important at that time so at that time that was the needs of the time but as time changed that kind of culture fade away cultures come and go uh, yeah. tropes come and go and at this time and age when you form you go we form a gang and go around beating people in your neighborhood <laughs> people <laughs> you'd be inside a jail the next day that's what i say the, the like the needs of our time are constantly changing we do not need that kind of masculine that kind of masculinity right? masculinity is just not a cannot be defined by a single word right masculinity can mean a lot of things like what people <laughs> a lot of people allude to is the 80s action hero rambo yeah. bruce uh, rambo and silver sister wala match machoness i don't think that's that should be that shouldn't be the norm anymore and that's the thing like people do not seem to realize that art adapts to the, the needs of the times well yeah. uh, just a small sh- small assassin's creed story before Wait, we move on to sushir you know, ye record yeah. ho raha hai yeah, i started recording oh okay okay okay, okay. then then, then i'll go ahead Uh, then then i'll go ahead and say the story okay wait right? wait like, i wanted to add like <laughs> one little bit to what jay was saying or like mm-hmm. what we're talking about now ek cheez just to acknowledge ki like i don't want to like kind of uh, shout people away ya fir like theek hai everyone has their thought and opinion and i think like even us talking right now yeah I, like this we, we, is quintessentially that comment like teen yeah. chut what is yeah, the word again as some see what teen chhod teen chhabde i continuously <laughs> keep mistaking that teen chhabde milke baat kar rahe and they don't know what they mean so this yeah. is essentially yeah. that right yeah but hera like like and ayush ne bhi bola like we've been doing this for 5 years uh, st- uh, today to uh, waise like looking back like i mean when it started off it i didn't realize it at that time but eventually it became almost therapeutic for me ki na aise baat kar rahe hain like talking things out yeah. and apne usme and i i feel ki a lot of people who are like having these complaints and like Uh, sabna like must also feel like that when they get together maybe in the comments yeah. like uh, not hamare again like a third space yeah yeah, yeah uh, mm-hmm. comments or uh, twitter reddit wherever uh, or even discord like you getting together you talking i think it must feel therapeutic mai bolunga just think about it a little bit ki uh, sure i i am sure you also have a point i am sure ki na like kuch shady ho raha hai of course there is always something nefarious going on i can believe that for sure but mai kare also think about ki it's not like the only or the biggest problem and like Uh, make this bolunga i think what happens with a lot of people is kind of like they not they want to be a part of games uh, the the bubble but yeah. like playing games i agree it's not easy like not ki games are tough wale way but like access to games or like right oh, yeah. but you also always want to be part of the latest conversation that's why you hear yeah. so much talk na like but sometimes i feel like just kabhi kabhi mauka do like give yourself the chance and i feel ki mm-hmm. mere luckily like i think for us with embargoes and all kabhi early reviews milta then we get the chance Uh, oh, yeah. to just play the game without knowing anything about it uh, maybe some pre marketing but mai to kafi bari like trailers mm-hmm. maine ek hi dekha ho kuch na and i have read articles or interviews about it like i like to do that after i play the game if i if i am mm-hmm. interested in it then i'll find out more and with some games of course cyberpunk uh, uh, and anything of course i'll follow along uh, with minor details but sometimes if i play these games apne hisab se and i come to a conclusion uh, i feel very satisfied and happy also and like uh, and jab release ho ke aata hai if people agree with me i feel a little genuine validation ki hey, i came to this thought on my own like uh, and agar if people disagree to i i can also see their point but i feel ki hey, i had a different experience i kind of it, it just feels nice in either ways mujhe lagta hai kafi log na wo miss kar rahe hain if you, even if you have all these complaints do this thing for like without having a recommendation or anything like uh, kabhi ho sake to na a game that you're looking forward to without knowing too much about it or the opinion about it uh, having it soured or colored in any way just go into it i think it will help a lot with perspective and even then yeah. you come to the same conclusion that's fine like mai wo bhi mana nahi kar raha hu but mai keh raha hu like hey, give yourself a chance to think more kyunki mujhe lagta hai especially asmund gold i feel is like a problem where i don't think when uh, in some video usne as a reference asmund gold uh, diya tha ki na hey, like asmund gold uh, made a good point in his video maine kaha when has he made an original point it's like either chat driving the opinion or uh, some something from twitter like kind of coloring yeah. an opinion he knows what they want to like he's not making like too many original points he's not kind that kind of thinker or anything with this which is fine maker wo category of content we exist karta hai like and mai to aspen gold ka example de raha hu it might be like in the opposite i'm sure like the way i think uska bhi like ghatiya uh, uh, wala like uh, you know mindless content nikalta hoga i am very sure wo bhi hota hoga to theek hai man like yeah, i mean yeah you, you have to let broaden your horizon a bit yeah. right yeah so this, the thought that everyone's out to get you all the time that's like oh you that, that is that, that that is aspect i want to touch upon yeah. so let, let 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 you know hear hear me out hear me out regarding this uh 
the assassin's creed shadow thing little bit of racial politics going on in around that the conversation right uh let's say for example uh ubisoft decides to do uh india game right assassin's creed india and you know you guys know that the assassin's creed india game has already happened it wasn't a good one it wasn't a triple a it was a side scrolling game that they did you know packed with china and russia all together and just let me tell you uh like where the points of friction are you know how they tried to create that story and create points of friction which will make people encourage people to look more into it because you know i believe at the end of the day stories are all about drama if everything was all right then there there's no point in telling that story there is suffering there is pain there is trouble there are conflicting opinions and that what's makes a story assassin's creed india was not a good example or the chronicles india was not a good example of good storytelling okay it it the storytelling was really you know not that good and uh, the game itself was not that good it was very amateurish but let let's think about the topic of that game let's i'll tell you a little short hand about the, how the game transpires so there is this guy and and see it from an indian perspective okay and how that might become political real fast uh, there is this guy called arbaz mir okay and he is a kashmiri okay so we can say by the name he's a kashmiri muslim right let let's say it this happens in the anglo sikh wars so this is uh, ranjit singh ranjit singh son khadak singh and khadak singh's daughter who is uh, again completely you know bossed up name pyara kor instead of pyari they made it pyara so they did not have that you know indian perspective back then they did not get the names right it should have been pyari kor or whatever so uh, so th- definitely we are seeing that person is a sikh right and uh, what happens is that arbaz mir is uh, steals the kohinoor which is actually an object of eden uh, okay and th- there are certain things which happens and he is taken to you know there's a temple uh, hindu temple in pakistan he's taken over there and things happen after that and then you know there's a lot of story involved of all of this and there is a romantic angle to arbaz mir and pyari kaur okay okay and 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 so you're seeing that this is in india this is a still quite a big controversy i mean people watching this video might not agree to that but uh people marrying or having a romance across communities religious communities is a big no no okay they end up marrying and they have a they have a son called uh, i think his name is uh, uh jaydeep Ka- uh, jaydeep kor or something like that okay and uh, jaydeep kor is actually in assassin's creed syndicate uh, so oh, he he makes okay. an appearance in syndicate later on so to think about it let's think that this game is made in triple a quality in today's age will this game politically be okay in india do you oh, do you think this kind of a game will be politically okay in india when you're talking about uh, a place a time in history where we were going through a lot of turmoil like yeah. we are doing some revision revisionism even right now regarding how our history is <laughs> supposed to look like how gandhi is supposed yeah. to be and how not heroic Mughal, is supposed Mughal to be and whatever yeah. so you're talking about the anglo sikh wars you're talking about different communities you're talking about different religions you're talking about different religious places and you're talking about different communities actually marrying each other and having children and stuff like that do you think that is not political would that game actually made in a triple a quality go well in india no it won't they not i mean yeah, <laughs> yeah groups will be asking at the game game in no time and Some, someone actually this was 2016 play. just 2 yeah. years i mean whatever uh, uh, it, it wasn't a good game it died off people didn't play it i'm I happy it, yeah. that that game exists a political the point they were not trying to make a political point over there they were trying to create as many uh, how will i say places of friction as possible so as to create moments of drama yeah and in Indi- in india to create moments of drama <laughs> means to invite riots <laughs> <laughs> so i'm thankful that this game is not made in india i'm thankful that many other triple a's are avoiding india in a way because i don't want a I don't want a bad name for this country because certain kind of things will evoke negative reactions in India even if it may, it is made in the name of art and it will evoke negative reactions and I think that will hurt our name in the world that people will look at us and they will say these are very intolerant people these are right. people who are like okay uh, you know some muslim countries who will cut people's hands off or you know do something or the other I I my I, my country is a really good tolerant country and I want to keep that thing you know 
the dream alive and i don't want this to happen so think think about it 2016 they were not trying to be political yeah but if that game is made today manas do you think someone will say this is not political this is not politically driven this is does not have an agenda <laughs> this is this is this is supported by some George Soros or whatever fucking person yeah. who's you know another goblin hiding somewhere else. Yeah, and Sushir, मतलब uh, I agree कि you saying ना like the way they presented that story is also kind of bad. But I feel, but like you said, they were not going to, they were not trying to make a political game, but it is still political because sometimes that is the flavor of the place, uh, yeah, or, or the time or the situation, and it just happens normally. And maybe even even if the beats were like insensitive or like incorrectly portrayed, maybe those are like the mm-hmm. broader sentiments mm-hmm. or like the Uh, broader strokes yeah, stereotypes uh, for a reason uh, of mm-hmm. the place you know like those are the story beats that you think of yeah uh, become stereotypical i say yeah it's hai uh, na yeah you're right you know bina soche bhi it can be political to abhi ke time mein people are think if, so if somebody is thinking exactly about, the same example just first anybody plays the first day escape they'll be like oh my god what the fuck is this this is like a conspiracy rabbit hole and this like is so political it it's the same man it's, it's it's just that your perspective is getting hammered by these external influences that you are talking about a little while back that you are trying to make an opinion of your own and you you're trying to come to those options on your own but and you're not trying to make sure and you're trying to make sure that your opinion is actually uh, yours like you are making an effort to come to that so think about it in this manner 2016 who was trying to be political what was happening why was ubisoft doing this it's it does not fit the narrative this does not fit the narrative of that they are trying to do this because they want to get the largest number of people they wanted to pander to a black lives matter time i don't think so yeah. it's just trying to create friction that that's what i think but again i might be wrong yeah thank hey, you fair point yeah i mean e- even with the i don't know chot we can yeah but like in indian in the team will be like oh no 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 we got to this man stop it right now do the indian head knock yeah, yeah. <laughs> there yeah, was some so, diversity on the team maybe <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh ma, ma, are you going uh, guys going to talk about caravan sandwich oh yeah uh, we can <laughs> yeah, go i want to hear place, a little yeah. yeah and then then i want to say tell tell you guys the story because okay. yeah, the story is a is, it's a good story that i want to tell okay Okay. Yeah, uh, I can start with caravan sandwich. Jay, you also you finished it, right? Yeah, you reviewed it. I remember. Oh, you gave yeah, it a seven point yeah. five. I saw. Yeah, yeah. Fair review also. I liked it. Yeah, I liked the game. <laughs> I, I liked the, the. It was literally the game they advertised it to be a relaxing rom through a uh, what do you call it? what's that called uh, Pro- Providence, right? The fr- mm-hmm, fran- mm-hmm. the place in France, yeah, yeah. yeah Providence based apocalyptic. game where you explore uh, you know post apocalyptic land yeah uh, up yeah yeah probably something different something about like, the spelling yeah province or something yeah province or something like that. yeah and meet a cast of this is about a cast of diverse colorful characters that is basically the pitch and it's basically that uh, it's like a very relaxing there's no death there's no timers there's no anything you're you're a you know denizen of a space city you get a message from your sister who went missing like 4 years ago at the beginning and she tells you to come look for her something like that the signal is from earth you left earth to come live in space city and earth is like a hell hole there's like a huge multinational corporation has uh, been exploiting planet earth and now they are left earth uh, like there's like a big fucking tornado in the middle of the the uh, city and there's like only a handful of people the people you knew knew from your childhood living there and you basically go there search for your sister and yeah see you basically the prodigal daughter or the prodigal person i'll say person because i think the character is a non binary the main character is a non binary person and so yeah that's basically just of it and uh, the the main game was made with a clear intention its politics were clear clear as day right they clearly advertised the game to be very inclusive right representing you many gender sexualities race color etc and the characters you meet in the game are exactly that they are representative of different colors many uh, different cat- categories very really criteria many many players will be un- familiar with many of those and uh, what i enjoyed the game right you know why it wasn't like how we, people would say post like while the game had all all this stuff in the background the game was lit- actually about coming together right it was actually about inclusivity including the broader sense like coming together you when you your character called nef, nef, uh, sog right sog or sog 
see yeah, see something something like that oh oh yeah something like that and uh, they come to the earth and they meet their old friends and everyone's like kind of hostile not hostile but kind of like ruta wise they're like you left us yeah you yeah. left us to go to space city and we were suffering down here and throughout this 10 hour journey you are basically doing small tasks and bringing the community back together right it's a, such a beautiful game right such yeah. a beautiful message it's a, such a simple common mis- uh, yeah, uh, yeah you can say <laughs> such, such an inclusive woke messaging but that people are just that the universe is people the universe uh, is made up of people and the universe is people that's the message the game wants to send and yeah like you, actually i think a lot of the uh, characters different characters uh, sexual preferences uh, ad- gender identities you have to go uh, nitpick or the details or the little things that what they're saying to actually figure all, all of this out it does it's not in your face like most yeah. people say the most complaint i've seen, seen the steam forum is because the use of the pride flag right mm-hmm. there are a bunch of pride flag assets and it's plastered in different parts of the village right and people are like taking to steam forums and massive campaign against the game no woke uh, woke no buy right and like they're actually sending i think even send death threats to the developer they're harassing the developer on twitter yeah yeah, yeah. yeah look same game is woke i'm not by i will not buy it okay not buy it the game is like okay i have said earlier that this game is a very inclusive it's it's made for uh, people who like to see all that stuff in the games it's like it's for people who like the developers who feel that uh, different right categories are underrepresented but the game is not about that actually you can actually go complete the game 100% the game and not care about any of this yeah. and you won't even notice it and i was uh, reviewing the game so i paid all that attention i uh, try to uh, see who's who what's what what's going on what's their relationship and <laughs> when you look at it that way there's lots of yeah you know there are lots of same sex romances your main character has two fathers right and there's lots of uh, inclusivity and lots of representation going around but you don't have to notice any of that and you can just play the game finish it without just focusing on the sister missing wala story line yeah uh, and yeah, you said two fathers na like te- technically yeah, yeah. bahar se it will sound like it's a woke thing but then they uh, are they are all real complicated people the oh, father yeah. is kind of yeah, like yeah, yeah. been a little distant oh, and yeah. absent like there are complications yeah. like real relations yeah, yeah. thing ah uh, yeah these are actually li- uh, like lived in spaces with lived in characters yeah hey okay? and every not there's not a character in the game that's just for sure right everyone yeah. has a Uh, place there and these are all ca- there's a, this is a small village and these are all they are all living uh, you know nearby houses yeah. and they are all uh, part of a fraternity part of a community they all interact with each other you whenever you're not doing anything you see them interacting you see them arguing yeah. they have their personalities different personalities and different their flaws etc and they ask your help to fix those flaws and at the end end of the game i'm not spoiling it but still the end of the game is trying to bring everyone together and figure out a better for tomorrow and and there are other themes as well the environmental exploitation the eco uh, ecology protection aspect at the thing the you know the mining the heavy mining what mining does and what the uh, corporal uh, sorry corporal greed uh, it's about it's a, it talks about a lot of things very beautifully very subtly too like like i said you can go through the game missing uh, everything just take it as an open world game just as a character town game and you will be perfectly fine but if you stay and pay attention there's a lot of beautiful things about the game and it's like all laid out in a very convincing manner but the problem is that ever since the game released and it's been doing well actually i think financially it's, it's for a game of that size yeah. and the, the the developer has been constantly posting the, uh, the threats uh, and people harassing them about they're talking as if the developer has no right to make such a game yeah yeah it makes you go crazy what world are you living in where a person does not have the creative liberty to make the game or do anything they want right like every co- uh, constitution every declaration every country gives every person that right right that's why it's on steam that's why it's on st- store fronts right because they have right to make that and to make a game to spend like 4 years or something you know hard work at a game and then to have a random guy a faceless guy come tell you that you do not have the right to make this game you do not uh, get to live you are a terrible person 
that's like a such a shitty thing and but the truth the credit of the devil they're taking this very calmly right they're like uh, replying to uh, uh, every comment and something very very pleasant people yeah but ajay mujhe maine ye bhi notice kiya that twitter pe na like yeah they're replying and dunking on them na but as a like, like you said like a mm-hmm. random nobody comes up to you and gives you a threat na i feel like some given the situation like if this was like 10 mm-hmm. years ago a different situation you dunk on them and like that guy will get absolutely worried but like right mm-hmm. now like getting a response is like validation now they can take oh, that yeah. response they are any see the developer made fun of me they hate me oh, yeah, these yeah, developers yeah, yeah. know they hate us it's yeah, not yeah. about inclusivity mm-hmm. they'll twist yeah. the heart oh, of yeah. your message into something else oh yeah yeah and like uh, i have played a lot of games and even though this is a very woke game this does not even come close to uh like having the message straight up in the player's face this game doesn't do the, the, any of that but it's a very inclusive game like very di- uh what do you say very queer game hmm? but it makes do without you know like i said without having everything the overwhelm the player it's there for people who wants it but you can totally ignore everything and if you go look at the uh, steam discussions i can read the threads leftist brain rot that's the first <laughs> uh, is this is normal people say bol like yeah. this is not dust one or anything yeah yeah the next thread is does this game have a lot of woke elements uh then there's like a good absolutely love artic- artistic vision and everything third uh, yeah this game reminds me of something else blah 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 and like uh, when the game launched there was a lot of threats like this popping up man this is game is very woke oh i found five pride flag symbols in the game how woke leftist yeah, you sn- snuck these symbols into the game like if we go to the steam page it uh, literally says that where, where was it uh, shit uh, ah as you interact with the diverse characters you meet along the way you will come to understand that your community is your home right the game is about spaces man <laughs> i don't know like how a guy can look at this and randomly think oh this game shouldn't exist that's such a like such a loser attitude and i don't know it's like it's kind of like uh, these days i have a high tolerance for bullshit but come on like something really irks you and this kind of behavior really yeah i think the problem <laughs> i think was kind of like when i saw the first four flags na uh, like ha hmm. theek hai like it was a little too much but i got yeah. but when i saw the fifth one i started becoming a little gay So yeah. I think that, <laughs> that's when I was worried. That's yeah. when I made yeah. that trade-on yeah. scheme. Yeah. Like, I'm reading out loud the description. Caravan Sandwich yeah. is writ- written with an inclusive script that represents the real community, its people and pr- representation. It's literally there. Like, who goes around buying a game without at least <laughs> having a read at the marketing blur, man? No, they didn't and buy like, the game. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's true. Simple. It's like really, uh, it's like watching Brokeback Mountain yeah. and saying, "Why is this happening?" Yeah, <laughs> like, G- why I don't want this yeah. to happen. Gio and Gina though, like live and let live, man. That should be like at least simple. Please be courteous to each other. Why, like, why yeah. is Joker here? <laughs> <laughs> why is he doing this? <laughs> he has gone woke. Uh, That's why yeah, he died. Oh my god! Ma- <laughs> oh yeah, and man, is what experience did you have with the game? Uh, very similar to w- what you said. I only disagree yeah. with like one thing that you said. Now in your review, I remember you said that. Yeah, there are no consequences. But ah, yeah, that's a, I, yeah. I said like that's a very subjective thing. Yeah. yeah. Ah, but, uh, I I I like not disagree too much. Mm. Also, but I kind yeah, of felt that, yeah. मतलब इसमें अगर consequences डालोगे तो थोड़ा it it might become yeah, like I, a headache almost. Yeah, I was <laughs> not talking about ex- like deaths. I was talking about like little things. Maybe like when you fall down. Yeah, jump off a cliff or something. Yeah, yeah. some uh, some response, yeah. right? I started no using it like a mechanic. Yeah, yeah. Like once I realized, yeah, yeah. अच्छा, नहीं मरूँगा तो uh, yeah. if I find तो हो गया चल मैं खोदिया वहाँ से नहीं. Yeah, I but I think some kind of response would be like you know at least it wouldn't block the immersion. Really, you do yeah. not. Uh, you have immersion, but still you're in a make believe world. You know or that hey, the rules of the world. Or hey, give a what do you call it? Like a glider or something. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, something like that. I, I like the game, yeah. but yeah, I think some of the stuff was not for me and. the stuff was not for me was not the woke elements it's the these things in the gameplay yeah, yeah. see yeah. right that that should come first like yeah. this game this game puts gameplay and the world first everything else is secondary yeah is some of the puzzles and all like the yeah. way they flesh ah, yeah. out like the areas and all the things you do uh, they are all pretty fun and the platforming stuff like you go around exploring there is no like no fighting enemies or anything yeah. it's mostly all exploration focused those three yeah. biomes i and feel the, like they also do a good job of like having a small area that's fast to navigate but it's also like yeah. dense with things to do 
you know, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. they have a good runtime. It feels so, yeah. It's not open world. It's like a big open yeah, area. Yeah, yeah, small chunk of the open area. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think that and, uh, that and looks see. good though. Looks yeah. very good. Oh yeah, yeah. Looks they said good, specifically. Yeah. I I read some some article or something. You know, or they said that this was like Unreal Engine five. Because a lot of it is due to Lumen and all. Lumen can. This has mm-hmm. like some decent reflection stuff and all. Oh, yeah. That's very problem. demanding to run on the Steam Deck as well. Maybe that's oh, yeah? why. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's on. Good looking. Good looking game. Yeah. Good game also. Yeah. Everything you said, I yeah, I agree with. Yeah. Yeah. Right. If you go to the Twitter account of the developer, you can literally see like maybe first, second messages or every post. Everything is about this constant hate. I think yeah, it's nice that they're talking, uh, taking this very freely, and they have a platform to talk about that. They have people that support them. At the same time, there are a lot of people that you know, <laughs> they're in an echo chamber or whatever. And if you don't like the game, just stick to it, man. 